What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Video number one for today is an update on my physical media closet. If you guys remember a couple of weeks back, I did put out a video letting you know that I turned my walk-in closet in my bedroom into my physical media closet. I cleared everything out of there. I have several shelves in there and I decided to utilize my space just a little bit better. So I reorganized and made it into my physical media closet and everything separated by category. I am loving it. But as we all know, physical media collectors are always evolving and changing and I decided to move a couple of things around. As you can see behind me, the rack that used to hold all my franchises is pretty much empty. All my Marvel Steelbooks are gone. So where are they? They're in the closet. So I figure I would just give you a very quick update as to what the closet looks like now. So let's get started. I'm ready to show you. I'm actually going to start the tour over here. Now this is the physical media rack that you see behind me in every single video and as you can see it is empty. So what is happening? I had the brilliant idea to make this the rack for my criterions. So as I go over here Here's all the criterions that I have been watching, that I have seen, but as you guys can see, I have plenty of room, plenty of criterions to watch to fill up this rack. I just thought it was a great idea because this is where I used to house all of my franchises and my Marvel Steelbooks. However, it dawned on me, I was running out of room and the Marvel movies are going to keep on coming, so I had to utilize my space just a little bit better. So this rack is now for Criterions. We are now officially inside of the physical media closet. So to the right hand side, it's still the steel books on the bottom shelf that I have seen. Love all these movies. They're great. They're all time favorites. Love them all. Next shelf above, we have steel books that I have not yet watched. So never seen at steel books. We do have a lot of those. Oh, that creaking is the floor. Never mind that. Also sharing the Never Seen It Steelbook space are Never Seen It Criterion. So once I watch these, I will transfer them over to the rack that you see behind me in every single video because that's now where all the Criterions are going to be held. And then also you see a bunch of Blu-rays. Those are from Jasmine. She sent me that huge box I'm still amazed by. I had no other place to put them, so I figure I'll just make this entire shelf a Never Seen It Paradise filled with Steelbooks, Criterions, and regular Blu-rays. Up on the very top shelf to the right-hand side are still all of my box sets. Still have plenty of room up there. Give you a little tour of what I have for box sets. There we go. I probably will do a box set collection video sometime soon. Okay, so here's where a major change happened. In the prior video, I had 4Ks up at the top. But then I thought, because I'm moving my criterions, why not make the middle shelf the 4K storage? Because I need my 4Ks to, to be a little bit more accessible. And it just made sense to me. So the very top shelf is photo albums. I could always move that out if I need the space, which probably will happen in the future. The second shelf down are 4Ks, all with slip covers. Love them all. They're all great. And then the third shelf down, we have more 4K slip covers and then no slip covers in the middle stacked. I just liked how that looked. I thought it looked pretty nice. And I do want to feature one more time my awesome handmade, well, not handmade, but original made slip covers by Side Hustle Cinema for my Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 because they're amazing looking. <laughs> so shout out to Side Hustle. Well, if I can get that in. There we go. And then my fourth shelf down, this is where I store my Blu-rays or Steelbooks for my monthly watch list. So right now I'm in musical month. This is what I plan on watching. And also if I do need the room in the future for more 4Ks, which again will probably happen, I can utilize this space as well. And then the entire middle area can be all 4Ks. So I really like how this looks. It's very nice having everything in order. My type A personality is extremely happy. So over on the left-hand side, like I said, the former home of the 4Ks, but now what are these, Susan? What are all these? So when I cleared out the franchise rack behind me in every video where the criterions are now going, 
this is where duplicates are. So this is where a lot of my Marvel regular Blu-rays are, John Wick, the shark movies. I didn't know where to put them. So I just flung them up there. I figure I'll work it out in the future what I want to do. Second shelf down, these are all never seen it. <laughs> never seen it Blu-rays. The majority are from subscribers. So thank you so much. Some of them I did purchase, yes, but the majority are from my subscribers. So incredibly generous. Thank you again. Bottom shelf are the steel books that were in the Criterion rack now. So these are the franchise steel books that were in the rack behind me. Mainly we're talking DC. We got some Toy Story and also John Wick and a Bumblebee. Over here to the right hand side, we have the movies that I'm potentially, well, not potentially, I plan on getting rid of. I'm still, I say potentially because I'm still stuck on the humans, what I should do, keep it or not, get rid of it, I don't know. But this is my plan. So this is from last month, and my pile for this month is already growing. So this is what I have so far. And then this is where I'm keeping my Columbia Classics Volume 2 set, but I'm so excited about Volume 3. But where's the Marvel Steelbook, Susan? Ah! Let me show you. Here is where I'm storing the Marvel Steelbooks. So this is just Marvel Steelbooks only, nothing else. Actually, technically, it's just MCU. It's not even like Morbius or Venom, none of that. It's just the MCU. So before I had these up there, the Halloween movies, and I had all the Scream Factories with slip covers on this top shelf right here. But I figure I'm going to utilize my space better. So I combined everything that's Shout Factory and Scream Factory into one shelf, all slip covers over here, the Halloween movies in the middle. And then we have Shout and Scream combined over here. So this is now where the Marvel Steelbooks, or I should say the MCU Steelbooks are. I have a nice little display with Black Panther and Captain Marvel, both of them from my friend Tony P. So incredibly generous towards me. So I wanted to feature that. It looks really nice. I really enjoy how this looks. I think it looks great. And this is going by the, by the most recent. So we have Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, No Way Home, and Multiverse of Madness because I'm type A like that. <laughs> so here's all my MCU Steelbooks going up. And I figure there's plenty of room to stack because as we know, Marvel's not stopping anytime soon. So there's the Scream and the Shout Factory, like I mentioned on the second shelf. And then on the bottom, this one has not changed. It's still Arrow over on this side with my box sets lined up on the bottom. And then you have the Arrow titles with slip covers and then without. Yes, that's how type A I am. But you know what? It looks really great. And then over here in the corner, we have Vinegar Syndrome. So that is the brand new update on my physical media closet. And let's be honest, I'm probably going to change it again sometime soon in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.